that in here. Wait, well, can't want this. Okay. That. All right. It's hard to argue with a guy who's had a heart transplant. We had just brought him home from the hospital after I had him. He was uh, almost three days old, and he was not doing well. We ended up taking him to the ER, and they told us that something was wrong with his heart. Brandon had a condition called hypoplastic left heart syndrome. And hypoplastic left heart syndrome essentially means that you're born with half of your heart missing. You have no left ventricle. Your left ventricle is like the MVP of your heart. It is the chamber of your heart that pumps blood to your entire body. And without it, you are in a serious situation. still kind of in denial that he was as sick as he was until his heart stopped four times. His heart wasn't healthy throughout all that, and so it became clear that, that just restructuring his own heart wasn't going to work, and we were really going to have to look at a transplant. You really just have to put all your trust in these people who are trained to do great things and just hope that some miracle happens that he will pull through and we'll get to take him home and he will be everything that I want him to be. All in all, he was in the hospital a little over three months before he went home after his transplant. There are very few centers close by that have the multidisciplinary coordinated approach for all the things that Brandon needed, including the Berlin Heart, including heart transplant. We have a terrific group of surgeons, anesthesia, critical care, nursing, respiratory therapists, surgical technicians, perfusionists, all the th components that go into uh, a successful open heart surgery program are here. Family-centered care is really at the core of our values, but I really think we don't just use that word lightly around here. We wanted to be sure we were creating not only quantity of life, but quality of life as well. We were fortunate enough that it was the hospital closest to us when we were in crisis and had to bring him in emergently. If you saw him, you would have no idea what he's been through. He has no idea what he's been through. He really doesn't have anything that is really inhibiting his function as a normal, healthy three-year-old. When we look at uh, the research we know we need to do to find out why does heart disease happen, that's where we want to go. I mean, taking care of the kids right now is because they're here and they need it right now. We want to get to a population of kids that hopefully won't need it because we've figured out how to intervene. If you save a child, you're saving a whole lifetime of potential. So when we look at someone like Brandon, we know that his future could go anywhere. Improving the lives of children and young families is a terrific thing to be able to do, and I really enjoy the opportunity to play a role in that. I think it's like a lot of things where you don't know what you have until you actually need it. This is like the top half of one half of 1% in terms of success outcomes from this kind of thing. It's incredible. He arrested four times. He's been through four heart surgeries. I think if we hadn't gone to Children's initially, he probably wouldn't be here. They saved Brandon's life, but I mean, they saved my life. They saved my wife's life. It is this place where people are invested in outcomes, and they're invested in positive outcomes, and they care about making people better. Mm -hmm.